The Dattle Pepper is a culinary symbol of America's oldest city. These fiery morsels with a hint of sweet can be found across the food scene in St. Augustine, Florida, sold fresh at farmers markets and made into jams and other condiments. You'll even find these peppers, nearly as hot as habaneros, covered in chocolate and served for dessert. St. Augustine is closely associated with Spanish explorer Juan Ponce de Leon, who landed on the northeast Florida coast in 1513 as he looked for new territories in the Caribbean. Today, the sweet, hot, hyper-local pepper with the murky backstory draws culinary explorers to the city. So where did it come from? And how did it become one of St. Augustine's cultural treasures? Because it resembles a famous Central African pepper called the Fatali, some people believe it was introduced through the slave trade. Others maintain that a group of settlers from the Mediterranean island of Menorca brought it with them in the mid-1700s when they were recruited to work at Andrew Turnbull's infamous and ill-fated indigo plantation in the British settlement of New Smyrna. Still another theory, which is backed up with some historical data, holds that a jelly maker named S. B. Valls brought it with him from Chile in 1880. The reasoning behind this? There's no mention of the dattle pepper before Valls' arrival in Florida, and the word dattle has meaning in both Spanish and Quechua, a South American indigenous language. In any case, the Menorcans in St. Augustine wholeheartedly embraced the daddle for their dishes, and the annual Daddle Pepper Festival draws thousands of people to the city each October.